It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, a single doomsday bomb that could wipe out all of our modern infrastructure. The electricity grid would go permanently dark, airplanes would fall from the sky. America is clearly Iran's ultimate target. Clearly, we are the great Satan. And one way to get at America, and an easy way, quite frankly, is through an EMP attack, an electromagnetic pulse attack. Every major city in America, how does it get its water supply? Consider that every major city in America, its average food supply on hand is 21 to 28 days. Consider, where do we get our medication? Consider what happens in nursing homes and hospitals. What happens to our transportation grid? Anything driven that, well, most of them have computers in them, they're all gone. The lights are out in a huge and history-making blackout. Some people are without water and we don't know what's going on. In August 2003, when the power shut off along the east coast of America and Canada, unprecedented chaos broke out. It'll be okay, honey. It'll be all right. Major cities like New York were brought to a standstill. Thousands were trapped in subway tunnels, while road traffic became instantly gridlocked. But things could have been much worse. Vehicles may have been at a standstill, but at least they worked. Mobile phones and police radios weren't affected. Once the power came back on, things quickly returned to normal. An EMP attack would make these events almost seem trivial. So we've known about the capability of EMP. The first study had the commission headed by Roscoe Bartlett, Republican out of uh, Frederick, Maryland, 2004. Testimony in that study indicated 90%, let me repeat that, 90% of all Americans will die within 12 to 18 months after an EMP event. This study was done in 2008. Has anything been done since? No. However, there was an attempt to protect Americans in early 2010 when House Bill 5026 was introduced. The law would have authorized the federal government to take emergency measures to protect the U.S. power grid from solar flare and EMP weapons. It passed the House of Representatives by a unanimous voice vote in August that year. However, Alaska Senator Lisa Murkowski helped kill the legislation in favor of a clean energy bill backed by Senate Democrats. And we know how much it costs to run a bill through and how many years of work and how many hundreds of experts were involved in that. We had one self-centered senator who killed the bill. If Iran develops nuclear capacity, the United States would certainly become a first strike target. And a plan to execute a coastal launch has been in place and tested for nearly a decade. For years, the Iranians have been taking a container ship out into the middle of the Caspian Sea and firing rockets straight up. And then they detonate the rocket and say, oh, it was a failure, it didn't go into orbit. I mean, that, that is the signature. That's, that is a clear signature of training for an EMP launch. Put the missile straight up. They said that uh, America should not be surprised if their vessels find their ways into, Atlant into the Atlantic Ocean and get close to the Gulf of Mexico and a strike America. Get that container ship 100, 200 miles off the Gulf of Mexico. Doesn't need any sophisticated guidance system, anything like that for precision impact. And these missiles in a container, ballistic missiles, can be launched in less than 60 seconds with a nuclear warhead and, and blasting the sky and create an electromagnetic pulse attack where it would destabilize the infrastructure of America uh, within hours and we will be sent back to uh, the 18th century. 